Mickey's BFL debut, representing TriStar Gym in Burnaby, BC, Liam Arthur. I knew mentally I wasn't there for that fight, so I want to right that wrong. Oh, right away. And it's Abner looking for the takedown right away. Whoa, and he gets it. The fighter in the red corner, Daniel. This fight wasn't like I wanted to. I needed it. I needed to get that out of my system. Yeah. Right? So you felt like you owed something. I owed something to myself because like, I knew I wasn't there. This one, I was there. I was here in BFL, and Dave, let's hope it's a good one to kick things off tonight here at BFL 74. As you see, Arthur, he is in the blue trunks. It is Freeman in the red trunks. We do something called a neural charge workout. I don't have another name for it. Um, the idea behind it is to just wake up your nervous system. So everything that he does is light, fast, plyometric, or ballistic in nature, with no fatigue. So generally speaking, you would have, you know, reasonable rest periods between something fast like that. I crank them up even further. So a minute between exercises of three reps, it's just enough to wake him up, make him feel like he's got some snap back in his movements. And then before he even breaks a sweat or gets tired, we send him off. And then he goes and does a shakeout with his striking coach. My job is not to fatigue them. My job is to make sure that they're ready to go for their sport coach. Good. All right. Give me a flag. Nice. I feel uh, less hungry than yesterday. <laughs> Flip over. <laughs> You're less hungry than yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have a look at your neck, just to make sure. How's it going? Is it... I think it's because I was trying to wipe my ass. That's what happened. <laughs> you cramped. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, yeah. That's all right. You go tunnel vision, you kind of like zone out and you focus on the task at hand. Right before that, I saw everybody. I saw the commentators and the crowd. Everybody. I couldn't get my mind set on the one person front. In this fight, I zoned out. Up that one too. Oh, aggressive. Oh, nice hook. Both guys just content to stand in front of each other here. Yeah. If you have an underwear, you might as well try to use it. Okay? If you don't have an underwear, then you have to get a call in that. For that trip, doesn't get it. Up against the cage, they go once again, and a nice knee from Liam Arthur, and he separates, and now he's throwing a left and a right. Try to get it. Good. Under a minute to go here in round nice. number two. Now he looks for the takedown. Nice takedown defense from Arthur. Nice sprawl, good neck control. Great turn of events here from Freeman, who went from a bad position to an excellent one for. Oh, there we go. He's, now he's attacking the neck. Good defense by Arthur there. Staying calm in there, controlling the hands, doing the right things. And there from Freeman. Oh, nice lead hook by Arthur. And off they go, and Dave, now, this third and final round could be the decider. Nice kick by Arthur. He's happy to, oh, nice. Oh, both guys landing in that exchange. Seconds left, which was a pretty solid third round for yeah, Liam Arthur. Arthur. Turn back into him, and he does. He's able to. Oh, nice. Left lands. Great, great stiff job, by Arthur. Oh, nice right hand from Freeman. Now it's a right from Arthur. Oh, God, he's just standing in the phone booth. Whether it's a win or a loss, there's always something of value that's going to come about. 
there's always something you're gonna learn from it. Whether you did a good thing or a bad thing, you're always gonna learn something off of it.